Hospital shortages continue to be a problem throughout the state and county. Good Tuesday evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Priscilla Casper. And I'm Sean Mooney. We begin with team coverage as hospitals are experiencing problems with staffing shortages here in Pima County due to the Omicron variant. News 4 Two Sons, Danelle Confair joining us live from Banner UMC with more on the issues these hospitals are facing. Danelle. Priscilla, Sean, we've seen firsthand how highly contagious this new strain of COVID-19 has been impacting our hospitals. That coupled with staffing shortages really just making for the perfect storm impacting patients and first responders. You know, this is a flu season. This is when, when we see hospital utilization go up. Um, so yes, there are, there are um, beds, staffing and, and, and supplies and operational uh, issues uh, continue to be something that impacts our hospitals. In Tuesday's Pima County Board of Supervisors meeting, Dr. Garcia addressed the strain on our hospitals, saying his department is there to advise hospitals and help them get through this difficult time. Um, the biggest issue, though, when we heard it multiple times, is the percentage of people in our hospitals with COVID and in the ICU with COVID and that the vast majority of those people are unvaccinated. Longer wait times in emergency rooms also impacting local first responders. I think the important thing to understand is that, you know, wait times at the hospitals have a domino effect within our whole system. Um, ambulance resources are critical not only to the 911 system, but also the inner facility system. And that allows us to provide care to the community and hospitals. Supervisor Steve Christie says one fire chief in his district has told him our rural hospitals have been heavily impacted. You know, he said, if you folks think that you're going to uh, circumvent waiting to be admitted into a hospital by taking an ambulance, you're sadly mistaken uh, because wait times are anywhere from three to, he says, 14 hours. 14 hours. Can you believe that? Now, coming up tonight at 6, we hear how local hospitals are helping with those wait times. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and send it over to News 4 Tucson, Shelly Jackson, who has more on the senator's call to our governor for more assistance to hospitals. Shelly. Well, thanks, Danelle. Arizona Senators Mark Kelly and Kirsten Cinema wrote a letter to Arizona Governor Doug Ducey asking him to activate the Arizona National Guard. FEMA recently authorized Title 32 National Guard resources deployed to provide essential services like transportation and food preparation at Arizona hospitals. But only Arizona Governor Doug Ducey can activate the Arizona National Guard. In a letter dated January 31st, Senators Kelly and Cinema write to the governor. Hospital systems, health care facilities, and those caring for Arizona's most vulnerable populations are suffering from severe staffing shortages. This endangers their ability to care for Arizonans. In a statement to News 4 Tucson, Governor Ducey says the timing of the senator's letter is curious. COVID-19 cases are dropping and hospitalizations are leveling off. More importantly, we have not received a request from a single Arizona hospital for National Guard assistance. According to the Arizona Department of Health Services, 19 Arizona hospitals have requested help from FEMA. A FEMA team is currently staffing a COVID-19 testing site at Pima's West Campus. Another team has helped Carondelet hospitals administer monoclonal antibodies. And FEMA is offering 100% reimbursement for the National Guard's coronavirus activities. Live from the newsroom, Shelley Jackson, News 4, Tucson.